The American Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarine is the most advanced SSN design in the Cold War. A total of 62 boats were built between 1972 and 1996, and 28 of these remain in active service. Today we take a look at the remaining Los Angeles class submarines that are still serving in the US Navy, and compare these to the Type 93 SSN, also called the Shang class, they are currently the workhorse of the Chinese nuclear attack submarine force. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and be updated on new content. This can save you a lot of time and also helps me to grow the channel. The Los Angeles class displaces 6,900 tons submerged which is a lot smaller than the more recent SSNs. Top speed is estimated at somewhere north of 33 knots, although there is no official information. Being nuclear powered, the Los Angeles can sustain the speed. Total complement is 129 crew members, which is somewhat on the higher side and reflects a slightly lower degree of automation than the more recent SSN designs. The Los Angeles class is separated into three flights, or variants. Flight 1 boats have all been decommissioned, so we are interested mainly in flights 2 and 3. The main change from flights 2 to 3 are more advanced electronics, sensors, and noise reduction technology, as well as modifications to help the submarine surface through ice in the Arctic Ocean. For example, the diving plane was moved from the coning tower to the bow and was made ret retractable so that they wouldn't be damaged when the boat is surfacing through thick ice. The maximum diving depth is estimated to be 450 meters. This is respectable, but less than the maximum dive of most Russian SSNs. Propulsion comes from the S6G nuclear fission reactor which is a slightly older generation of reactors than on the Seawolf, Ohio and Virginia classes. The nuclear reactor produces steam, which is used to power the steam turbine engine, and also a steam electricity generator that powers the hotel load. Unlike the Virginia class, the nuclear reactor on most of the Los Angeles class needs to be refueled about every 15 years, which has actually led a dozen submarines to be scrapped after only 15 to 20 years of service because the cost of refueling was deemed too expensive to be worthwhile immediately after the end of the Cold War. Most of the class have a conventional seven-bladed propeller, although a few of the later boats use a pump jet system, which is quieter. The Los Angeles class has four torpedo tubes of the standard 533mm dimension which can launch the Mark 48 torpedo, Tomahawk land attack missiles, and the Sea Harpoon anti-ship cruise missiles, and naval mines. Flights 2 and 3 of the class all have 12 vertical launching systems for the rapid firing of cruise missiles. There are also 7 launching cells for acoustic decoys to add another layer of active defense against incoming torpedoes. The primary sensor on the Los Angeles class is centered around the BQQ-5 sonar system, which has been improved over the years and is currently used on the Seawolf class. There are also two flank sonar arrays and a multi-tailed towed array sonar system to enhance passive sonar detection. The US Navy wants to replace all the BQQ-5 sonars on the submarine force to the new BQQ-10 sonar system that features a much more powerful data processing computer. However, the installation of the new sonar on the Los Angeles class is progressing very slowly, and the vast majority of the class still use the BQQ-5 legacy system. Given that the Los Angeles class is being gradually phased out of service in favor of the Virginia class, the installation of the BQQ-10 sonar may never be completed. I am going to skip the service history of the Los Angeles class because I want to compare them with Chinese SSNs. American nuclear submarine technology 
is generally considered to be ahead of their Chinese counterpart by about 15 years, quite unlike the consensus when it comes to surface warships. So, how well does Flight 3 or the improved Los Angeles class compare to the Type 93 Shang class nuclear attack sub? Not too much actual information is known about the Shang class, but most observers agree that it is divided into three variants. The original Type 93 that was constructed in 2004, of which there are two, and the four Type 93A upgraded submarines first launched in 2012 that is considered to be quieter and stealthier. There is rumoured to be a third Type 93G model that I also personally believe to exist, but not much is known. The noise level of a submarine is measured by decibels. The lower its decibels, the better. The background noise of the ocean is about 90 decibels, and the Virginia class and the Seawolf class SSNs are approaching that level of noise, with 95 decibels each. The improved Los Angeles class is believed to be around 105 to, 100, to 110 decibels. As the original Type 93 was under construction in 2002, unofficial Chinese sources suggested that it was as quiet as the improved Los Angeles class. In my view, given that the Type 93 was still being built, it would have been difficult to assess its noise level under real combat operations. The US Navy's view around the same time was that the Shang class is noisier than the Soviet Victor III class built in the late 1970s. The American assessment, I think, is probably on the harsh side. On balance, I think the original Type 93 was probably at around the same noise level as the original Flight 1 Los Angeles class, but are still noisier than the improved Los Angeles. More recently, some American analysts have acknowledged that the upgraded Shang class, the Type 93A model, or what some of them call the Type 93B, is a lot quieter than the original Type 93. According to the Center for a New American Security, a high-profile defense think tank, the following is a more accurate assessment. The 93B is not to be confused with the 93. It is a transition platform between the 93 and the forthcoming 95. It is quieter and it has a new assortment of weapons, including cruise missiles and a vertical launch capability. The 93B is analogous to our improved Los Angeles in quietness, and their appearance demonstrates that China is learning quickly about how to build a modern fast attack boat. Based on this, I'm inclined to believe that the upgraded Type 93A and the Type 93G, of which there are between 4 to 7 of them, are at about the same noise level as the improved Los Angeles class, although the pair of the original Type 93 boats are likely to be noisier. China is currently constructing a new class of Type 95 nuclear attack submarines that are expected to be quieter and better armed than the Shang class. Some sources believe that it has already been launched, but not much actual information will be available for some time. This concludes my overview on the Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarine. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.